Pregnant Little Boy by Gregory Brandt. The worst Halloween I ever had was in fourth grade when my two older sisters dressed me as a pregnant woman and forced me to go to elementary school. Our father has always encouraged their mistreatment of me and my twin brother, but this was some next-level sadistic shit. My twin brother didn't get off easy either. They dressed him as a young, short-haired punk rock girl with heavy eyeliner. They even pierced our ears, for Christ's sake. We kept fighting them as they were doing it, but they kept telling us, It will be fun. You boys will be the coolest kids in school. And our father made sure that we went through it. He laughed the whole way. It was not fun, and we were not the most popular kids in school. I ended up getting in three fights that day, and that's some of the most awkward conversations with adults that I would ever have. I remember just the walk there was quite a skeptical. Me and my brother always walked to elementary school, but on this particular day, we quickly separated as we went down Henderson Pass to Thousand Oaks Elementary. The people in the cars driving by couldn't believe their eyes. There was a pregnant little boy walking to school. It was one of the worst days of my life. Despite our father's threat to beat us if we took the makeup off, my brother had changed his dress into gym shorts and would wiped off most of his makeup before we got there. Me, on the other hand, kept the dress, wig, and makeup on all day. My father told me I had to. A few weeks later, they questioned him and our sisters at Child Protective Services, but no one ever did anything because he had money. I remember at the end of the day, I was crying in the boys' bathroom. I didn't even know if I was in the right bathroom. Destiny Williams, a school bully, came in there and offered me somewhat sympathy. During the walk home, I never missed my mother more than that day. She was in a mental hospital at this time, and previously she was living right down the street, and I could see her on my way to and from school. She would always make Kool-Aid for me, usually cherry or strawberry Kool-Aid, and the other kids would joke that I looked like I had lipstick on. Well, my Halloween costume, I guess, matched that. But on this particular afternoon, I really needed somebody to talk to. I remember coming home and actually looking towards my father for some sympathy for one of the only times in my life. He literally said, don't look at me. I'm not doing anything to them. He would never punish our sisters for anything. They were openly allowed to go in our rooms and steal whatever they want. My father told me that day, get the fuck away from me. I cried myself to sleep having nobody care about me. You guys wonder why I care about cats so much. Well, when I was a kid, I didn't have a father. I didn't have a mother. My two sisters were very mean to me. My brother was mean to me. And the only person I had, the only animal I had, was an orange cat named Sam. So thanks for listening, guys. Have a great day.